Welcome to Is It Truly Gluten-Free. Today I am going to be testing General Mills Rice Chex. As you can see this product is labeled gluten-free. They even have uh, their the Celiac Disease Foundation's uh, logo on there saying that they are sponsors. And uh, anyway, it's also labeled gluten-free right here underneath the ingredient label. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see how it looks. Got my blender here. I'm going to use this to grind up the sample so as to have a better chance that if there is any gluten in it, have a better chance of the test kit finding it and reporting it. Alright, I'm going to throw it on the blender which I have on another table here just because if it's on this table I'm afraid the camera is going to go all, all wonky. So I'm going to throw it on the blender and mix it up. Okay, so there we go. And I've got a bag here. I've got labeled rice checks. I'm going to pour it into this bag. Okay. There we've got our rice check sample. All right, we've got the sample of rice checks here, and the next step is to go ahead and measure it out. So I've got this test tube here labeled RC for rice checks. I'm gonna take the cap off of that. Got a scale. We're gonna measure out one gram of the rice checks into this test tube. Okay, there's one gram. All right, so now what needs to happen is we need to take some extraction solution and put it into the sample vial. So I've got my pipette here set to 10 milliliters, which is the appropriate amount of extraction solution. Okay, now we need to vortex it to get the contents thoroughly mixed. All right, now we're ready for the incubation phase where basically we're gonna put these vials, these samples, into a thermostatic water bath. Now I am putting multiple samples in just because that's more efficient. Um, I'm gonna do six at a time. So these need to incubate in this uh, in this hot water bath for about 40 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna come back periodically and uh, vortex all of the samples and, uh, and then we'll proceed from there. All right, it's time for the first vortex round for the rice checks. Second round of vortexing. Third and last vortex round. Okay, now it's time to centrifuge the samples. We just finished with the incubation. And uh, now let me open the centrifuge here. So again, as with the incubation, I'm gonna be centrifuging multiple samples at the same time, just for efficiency's sake. So I have six spots in my centrifuge. I have six samples here. So I am going to centrifuge these now. I'm going to do it for 10 minutes at uh, 2500 G's. Okay, so the centrifuge uh, has finished. Now at this point, we need to, this is the tube that was centrifuged. Notice there's this uh, these solids have been pushed to the bottom by the centrifuge and we've got liquid on the top. The liquid is what we care about now, so we need to transfer that liquid into this empty tube. Like so. And now at this point we can just discard that old tube. And what's in this tube is really what we're after. So now I'm going to allow this tube to stand for a little while to bring it to room temperature. Now we're ready to finish up the testing on General Mills rice checks. 
So this is the dilution phase and then we'll proceed to the analysis. So for the dilution, what we do is we mix some dilution solution, which we have here, with an appropriate amount of the extracted food sample, which we have here. And we do that in this empty vial. So we're gonna do this at a limited detection of three parts per million. What that means is a one to 25 ratio of extracted food sample to dilution solution. So at one to 25, what that means in practical numbers is 960 microliters of dilution solution and 40 microliters of the uh, food sample. So I'm gonna break open this dilution solution. And I eject that into the vial. And now we need to accompany that with a 40 microliter ejection of the extracted rice check sample. And we'll mix it up a little bit, make sure that everything is all mixed together well. Okay, so the next step is I need to take 100 microliters of the diluted sample that we just made here, and I need to put it into one of these wells. I'm gonna put it in that one. You'll notice the first, what, five are covered over with tape. Those have already been used, so I'm putting it into the next one over, which is this one. And like I said, I need 100 microliters in that well. Now the next step is to pull out a test strip. We'll drop it in that well. Start a timer for 10 minutes. All right, let's have a look at this test strip. And it would appear that according to Gluten Talk Sticks Plus, General Mills Rice Checks is gluten-free at a limit of detection of three parts per million. In other words, if this product contains any gluten, it is below three parts per million. So that concludes this test on General Mills Rice Checks using Gluten Talk Sticks Plus at a limit of detection of three parts per million. Uh, one of these days we'll test this product again, and in the meantime we've got more tests on the way, so stick around for those, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to stay updated on new gluten test videos as they're posted, don't forget to subscribe. You can also visit us on the web at isittrulyglutenfree.com or follow us on social media at isittrulyglutenfree. Thanks again and have a great day.